Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training Video and in this video we are going to discuss and configure multipathing so this is the seventh video in this series and today I'm going to show you configuring multipathing network for storage access what does mean by multipathing network so uh, storage access so, uh, basically if, if we lost any connection to the storage path storage our storage devices we have a secondary path available for like providing the re reader intent access to our storage services so go to next and here we have a demo environment first machine you can save into k12 dc01 which is my active directory server here you can see my active directory and uh, domain services and dns server is running on this machine you can see the name window k12 dc01 my domain name is victorinfosol.com and and my uh, vcenter host is vcenter65 which is on which we have installed a vcenter server so if you want to go ahead we can check here vcenter65 you can see the local name also here from and this machine is joined to domain and few back videos back we have installed a vcenter server on this machine so here we go now let's log in to vcenter single sign on So this is our vCenter server and we have our ESXi, ESX1, 2 and 3. You can see ESX1 and we have a ESX2 and here we have a ESX3 all are running VMware 6.5 and if you go here you can see an vcenter so I have added all three ESX I host so and store wind is installed on my physical machine so here we, you can see star wind is installed so which we have just installed in last video so in this video we are going to configure the uh, multipathing so here you can see the storage network allocation we have a uplink here if you go on ESX I1 and go to configure and uh, if you go here VM net adapters uh, physical adapters you can see we have total 8 link so 0 1 2 3 4 7 till the 7 and if you go here you can see uplink 2 and 3 so in my case uplink 2 and 3 I'm going to use for storage for all 3 ESX 1 and uh, VM next 0 and 1 is going to use for management network so let's configure this go to virtual switches we have one switch here which is basically a management switch so I'm going to remove this VM network later on we create a VM network adapter so it's done now I'm going to add one more like here which is one so basically want to make sure we have a next free available um, ports so go to teaming and I'm going to merge this VM nick one in my management also so it's done now you can see VM nick zero and one is added to management network and now we are okay and if you go on physical adapter you can see we have a nick two and nick three is available as per our diagram so now go to switches and I'm going to add one more switch here this is VM network or uh, V kernel network adapter because we are going to put this ISQC traffic on this so click next and we have and create a new switch and I'm going to add a NIC 2 and 3 here and click next and then we need to assign a name ISQC 01 and click next and now I'm going to put the IP address 192.168.1.201 on this 255.255.255.0 let's finish this and if you go here now you can see here we have a traffic sapping I'm going to exclude this port from here uh, on this so you can see the ISC one is zero one is connected with both physical networks so I'm going to exclude three here because three I want to put in 
ESX um, second storage network so now you can see we have one uh, one path available and I'm going to add a one more path here so VM kernel network adapter next I'm going to use on switch ones also so call it like ISKC is because it's 0 2 and we need to configure the static IP address which is 192.168.1.202 click next and finish and we need to exclude vmnic1 from here also so go on traffic and sapping And now you can see we have created two virtual path for storage access one ISKC1, ISKC2 both have its independent IPs and independent physical network card added. So same I'm going to do on my ESX2 also now. So go to ESX2 and first task we need to add a NIC here so add VM NIC1 so it's added now I need to assign the port to this machine so put in active now we can remove this so it's done you can see now a management network is connected with both physical networks so we are good to go and create a storage network so VM kernel network adapter for ISKC traffic click next and we need to create a new switch and here we need to add a 2 NIC which is 2 and 3 in our case but to go click next and now we need to name it ISKC01 click next and put the ISKC address 192.168.1.203 and the subnet pass for this click next and finish we are good to go here and go here and exclude the NIC 3 here unused and now we need to create one more here ISKC 2 switch on a switch 1 call it ISKC 0 2 click next and we need to put the IP address 192.168.1.204 and the uh, subnet mask finished now we need to remove the one NIC from here which is VM NIC2 so move down put in unused click OK so you can see we have a one physical NIC added to independent switch adapter and same we need to do for ISK C3 uh, e e or like e ESXi3 so I have done for ESXi3 you can see here I have already done this so now all three ESX hosts have their own dedicated connection for storage two for each ESXi host now if you click on VM kernel adapter you are able to see here we have a network label ISKC1 and ISKC2 all have a their uh, IP address configured so here you can see other uh, like features which is disabled vMotion provisioning FT is disabled so so basically in this video we have created a redundant storage access network for ESXi host all three hosts also you can see here we have all log which is uh, like which we have done in during the configuration of uh, this network setting so so now if you go on networks we have configured multiple network but if you go here on networks and see on configuration or you can go here on networks you are not be able to see anything here because this is this is for distributed switches and uh, generally the ISKC traffic is not uh, recommended to configure on distributed switches 
So So this is all about configuring multipathing access for a uh, network for storage access. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye